Hey guys, Kel here, bringing you another video. This one going to be uh, day four, we're getting to 4,000. Uh, we're going to be finishing up plan games today. Uh, and this will be a very good example on what type of, or like how to do the sneaky goblins where they really shine, I believe. Um, and I did a little bit of prep. I actually just didn't make a dragon, which I probably should have done, but Essentially, we are cooking one troop of whatever troop is available. We aren't doing Ice Golem because we have not unlocked it yet, so we can't do that one. But if you have the troop available, you should just go in and do it, especially if they're really small troops like this Barbarian here. We will go and do that one first. So we're just going to snipe off, do what we normally do, do a little bit of trophy pushing in the meantime because of course we have to get wins in order to uh, finish up this uh, challenge so we're just gonna keep going until we find something that's relatively easy this is the town hall 11 where we do have town hall 10 army camps so we have a significant amount of sneaky goblins less than we would like to have so we have to be a little bit um, more picky when it comes to bases we pick and this looks like a good base let's see i think we will go for it we'll use wall breakers here because either side it opens so it probably will do yep in the exact wrong order but we still opened up that wall uh we'll just drop the barbarian to test if there's anything in there even though the wall breaker i guess did that for us uh, and we'll just slowly work our way towards this uh, town hall, dropping two, and continuing on. What I shop, I probably should have done is dropped a few more. Ooh, full uh, dark elixir right there. Might as well snipe it off while we're at it. Um, I should have done a test sneaky goblin, and looks like we are going to live though, so it doesn't bite us. Um, we could have saved a few sneaky goblins there if we sent a lot at that dark elixir storage Just because it would go straight to the town hall immediately afterwards, but we only lost three uh, Sneaky goblins there. Uh, we're gonna cook boom. We're gonna take away that barbarian because we don't need it and actually we're gonna Keep taking away until we have enough for a dragon and throw that into the front right there um Yeah, we'll just pretend we don't need more uh, wall breakers. We have nine, or we have six, which is plenty. And let's go to the next one. We're going to use this battle blimp right here. Um, the nice thing is with a lot of troops also, you can request them. So if I wanted to do this ice golem one really badly, I can request an ice golem in my CC, and that counts as me using one. So... Uh, you can get a little creative. I don't have one in it, I just have a classic Yeti blimp. Um, so we might be able to just do something like this uh, and drop a rage and then take out a town hall. Luckily for us, it is the first one. Ooh, lots of traps. Maybe we should have seen that coming, but it's okay. We All we had to do was use <laughs> the blimp, and now uh, that these Yetis, we'll just use a rage, see if it helps. Now that these yetis are coming out and really triggering all the traps, we can send in a, snoo a few sneaky goblins in there just to take out the rest of the remaining health, especially under rage. Should be plenty easy enough. We did get a few traps sprung and then the rage, of course, wears off, so we're going to have to use an invisibility spell here. But nothing too bad. Got that win and got that easy 200. Moving on to the next one, let's see what our troop is. It is Giant or Healer. Let's do this to, um, what's it called? Let's fix our stuff. We have two, let's put this in the front like that. And let's get what is next. We'll do Giant. But yeah, this is the fastest method. If you have a bunch of people that don't really like using the troop specific uh, ones, that's the ones where you can take advantage and really shine. Um, here we have an easy one. 
So we'll go drop that giant because we have to use it. Do a little bit of funneling. That should be good enough to go straight for the town hall, right? Yep, test for traps. There are no traps. We'll send in our five. One, two, three, four, five. Let them hit it a few times and then drop our invincibility and taking it out. Giant is finished. Five minutes in, looking really good, getting really lucky with uh, the raids we're getting, so um, yeah, getting very lucky, very excited. We're going to do our healers next for another 150, and let's jump into it. Um, not a good base, not a good base. And of course, everything gets easier if you have heroes. You just kind of drop them wherever. So, um, if you want me to... I've been doing a lot of non-hero stuff. If you want me to do hero stuff, for those of you who do have heroes and want to use them in the best way, let me know. I do have accounts with heroes up that I can show you like more effective ways of like trophy pushing or something with heroes and sneaky goblins. But... Um, but because I'm teaching you how to do it without heroes, essentially all you have to do is drop your heroes and you'll effectively be doing better than not using them because you're already being effective without them. So they literally can't hurt you, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But finishing up that healer, moving on. Nice, we only need 200 more. We have this easy jump spell one. Jump spell is easy because we already use jump spell, so no need to like make the space for it. Uh, now that we're pretty much done here, we'll swing the wall breakers to the front and let's go finish one with the jump spell. I probably could have hit that one, but my brain said I wanted something a little bit easier. Hopefully we don't get only middle town hall bases at their, uh, at this point. But right now it's looking like we are. Nice dead base, but not much loot. Just gonna keep on nexting, of course. Oh, is this one? This one is fine. I think we will hit this one, so we'll just do a little bit of funneling here. Drop a jump for these, drop three on each side to get out those storages and take them out. And let's see if they trigger anything. There is nothing, which is nice, and we'll just send the rest in and make it invisible to take out this town hall. We'll go one more. And because we're nearing the end, we might as well get this dark elixir. Never mind, we were baited. Uh, it happens though. We aren't going for the dark elixir. I just thought it would be a little fun if we got a little bit in the meantime. But the game had other plans. Let's see. So let's put this in the front so it's finished. Put that in the front because it's finished. And we have a lot of extra... What's happening here? Oh, we'll do that. We have a lot of extra space or a lot of extra jumps, so we could do a lot more raids, but we only need one more win, so we're just gonna use one more win. Is there anything super duper easy? No, so we'll just do the dragon one because we finished the dragon already while we were uh, attacking. Finished cooking it up, and we'll go and take out this last and final base, hopefully finish before 10 minutes, um, but it is what it is, we've uh, had all our episodes I think have been over 10 minutes, specifically for, um, what's it called, this little mini series of clan games, but I think most things in Clash of Clans take about, take about 10 minutes. Because just logging on and attacking usually takes 
somewhere between, I would say. If you find a base really quickly and you're attacking really quickly, I could see you being able to finish your two- Oh, here's a good base. Your two attacks in like five minutes. Um, but I think for the majority of things in this game, if you're doing, like if you took a little bit longer to do an attack, or if you took a little bit of time searching, I think the average amount of time to finish up would be about eight minutes. So, yeah, unless you're only showing, I think the only videos I have that are less than eight minutes are, uh, the war attack ones where I just do a one war attack and then dip out. So those ones usually take about four minutes. Half of eight. Are they gonna go for town hall? Nice, trigger all the traps. Nice, triggering the tornado. Oh, okay. Sneaky goblin accidentally got dropped right there, but I guess it shows that we can target the town hall. So gotta take advantage of your misclicks when you make them. So boom, that will be it. And we're going to finish at the 11 minute mark. 11 minutes for the rest of this challenge. Not too bad. So, there it is. Full points. Usually, what I would do is stay at that 50 and then use this account just to, like, cycle. Like, throw away bad challenges. But, um, I want to show you guys how easy it is to get to 4K. And we did. So, that will be the video. Hope you guys did enjoy and learned how to use Sneaky Goblins a bit better. And we'll just fix this up so you know how to do it. This is the army. We'll do that. Eight wall breakers, rest Sneaky Goblins, and then you have one jump, rest invisibility spell, jump invisibility, jump invisibility, jump, but it goes jump four invis, jump one invisibility and a jump but that's the army and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace